today. This one is gonna knock your socks off. <laughs> I hope. Um, it's vegan chia seed chocolate pudding. It's gluten free too because there's no gluten in it. <laughs> so very, very simple. I saw it online today and I really wanted to try it. I haven't made it yet. I know I hate uh, filming recipes that I haven't actually tried yet, but this just looks so good and it got such great reviews from everybody who I've seen make it that I, I'm just gonna wing it. So I've got a half a cup of chia seeds here, you know, like cha 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 chia. Yes, the same ones that you put on that weird terracotta planter and water and make into hair. I don't know. But half a cup of the chia seeds. Now this doesn't sound like it's going to make chocolate pudding, but it is. I mean, it's not going to be chocolate pudding. It's going to be chocolate chia pudding. I'm using two tablespoons of the special dark cocoa. But I'm pretty sure you could use any type of cocoa powder. It'll work. Uh, I just like the dark one because I don't like it. I don't like milk chocolate as much as I like dark chocolate. Right, Granny? Okay. <laughs> My mom always says that. Two cups of almond milk. Now you could probably use soy milk or coconut milk or anything like that. You know, any milk substitute. If you don't want to make it vegan, you could probably use just regular milk. And I'm going to put in five packets of the neck tress. I probably wouldn't put so much in if I was using like regular cocoa powder, but since I'm using the dark one, I'm putting a little extra in. So gonna get that all mixed up, pop it in the refrigerator and forget about it for a while. They recommend a half an hour to three hours to overnight. So experiment with the texture that you like and um, we'll check back after it comes out of the refrigerator. All right, don't mind the dog drinking out of his dish. <laughs> There's the chia seed chocolate pudding and here's the pudding connoisseur. No, sorry. All right, it's not, exa it's not a dupe for chocolate pudding. There's it's no a healthy skin. alternative. No skin on the All top. All right, it's a healthy alternative. My husband's here to taste the pudding and <laughs> let's see what he thinks. No. No? No, it's, it's hardly any flavor to it. I think it's really good. I just ordered some raw cocoa powder from uh, Amazon and I think that is supposed to have a lot more chocolate flavor than have you had cocoa this? powder. Yes, like I have. Eating fish eggs. Honey, it's tapioca-like. Mm. I think it's really good. For something that's healthy, I think it's very, very good. <laughs> Don't overdo it because... <laughs> I love that face. Because what? Because, like I was telling you before, chia seeds are extremely fibrous. And the healthy thing about it... Yes? I don't want it. <laughs> okay. The healthy thing about it is that it fills you up because they expand a lot. And since they were also fibrous... They're a little crunchy too. Okay, well, you know, you can let it sit overnight and it will be less crunchy. But... <laughs> if you want to have a healthy alternative to chocolate pudding, then give it a shot. If you're Mark, don't. <laughs> okay, honey, thank you. Till next time. Real pudding is better. Much love. <laughs>